In this video, we will be discussing about modeling of coplanar wave guide feed lines using Altair FICO. This is Dr. Raja Devata. I am Senior Technical Specialist at Altair. Yeah, in this particular uh, video, as I told you, we are going to discuss about a method on how to feed a coplanar wave guide using CAD FICO is presented. And also, we can use the same kind of same method for coplanar wave guide or microstrip lines. Uh, basically, how do we define a coplanar waveguide uh, in the following way? Uh, it consists of a signal conductor placed between the ground conductors but separated by slots. The conductors are fabricated on top of a dielectric substrate with a conductive ground plane at the bottom. You can see over here in this particular picture, a grounded coplanar waveguide is uh, a graphical representation of the grounded coplanar waveguide is shown. Uh, you can have a signal conductor in the middle and ground conductors are there and uh, they, the signal conductor is separated by slots uh, between the ground conductors and we have a dielectric layer and we do also have a ground plane. Then we are the construction of a, a grounded coplanar waveguide. We can create the grounded coplanar waveguide in CAD FICO. However, we need to get some kind of uh, design. We need to do some kind of design analysis of this particular structure. We can use a transmission line calculator. That's a third party, third party tool where we can use this particular thing to calculate the down dimensions of the ground the grounded coplanar waveguide. And also, we can calculate the dimensions of the grounded coplanar waveguide using the equations from literature. We can use the equations from the literature to calculate this particular thing. Then we can create the grounded coplanar waveguide in CAD FICO using the dimensions of time in step one. Okay, we can we can follow the same kind of uh, uh, we follow the same strategies that as we using the transmission line calculator and obtain the dimensions and uh, take those dimensions and create the structure uh, in CAD FICO uh, using uh, using the graphical graphical GUI. And this is the top view of the grounded coplanar waveguide. When creating the co grounded coplanar waveguide, make the signal conductor slightly shorter than the ground conductors. And you can see over here in the enlarged view of this particular structure, we just zoomed this particular portion and you can see the signal conductor is slightly shorter than the, the grounded conductors. Yeah, the first step is to create the feed lines for the edge ports. Yeah, we need to prep the structure for the creating the for exciting the structure using the edge ports. Yeah, you can see over here at each end of the signal conductor, create a connecting polygon. These two polygon faces are used when defining the edge ports. Okay, you can see over here we are going to create a polygon first uh, at the signal conductor. Similarly, at in the step two, at each end of the signal conductor, we are going to create a vertical plate that connects the ground plane. You can see over here, we are going to create a ground plane that connects the uh, that connects the uh, ground conductors. This is the isometric view of the grounded coplanar waveguide showing the vertical plate. And also we are in this particular picture, we are making the ground plane is hidden, okay? And in step three, we are going to union all these particular uh, structures, uh, all this particular entire structure. And then you can see over here and also keep the node a short note in creating the polygon in step one uh, keep the width of the connecting polygons shorter than lambda by 30 to prevent higher order modes or resonances for the width of the feeding edge okay finally at each end of the signal conductor add an edge port at the edge between the connecting polygons and the vertical plate okay let me go and create a short demo on how to create the edge port and also I already created the grounded coplanar waveguide structure and I'm going to pull that particular thing and we will start creating the uh, polygon that is shown in step one. Let me bring my structure. You can see over here a structure is available, grounded coplanar waveguide structure is available and you can see over, over here the ground conductors are slightly larger than the signal conductor and this is uh, where we are going to create our polygon let me grab the dimensions i already calculated the dimensions earlier i would like to create a short small polygon that connects the signal conductor okay let me go to the home tab and construct tab you can use the polygon or rectangle to create this particular uh, uh, particular polygon over here okay 
I'm going to create a rectangle since I know the coordinates accordingly. I know the base corner. I will choose the base corner definition method and then I can go with the 14.78 and then I have minus 0.3 then 0 then my width is 0 0.25 and then my depth is 0 0.6 okay I do have all these particular things available then I would like to create a vertical plane okay vertical rectangle okay let me go there create a vertical thing okay create a rectangle then go to work plane then you see over here global yz then we are going to create the dimensions accordingly okay base corner definition method then we have the minus 4.26485 then minus 0.8 then we do have 15.03 the distance is 8.5297 and then we do have 1.6 okay this is the vertical plate that is connecting the ground conductors and this is a small rectangle or a polygon which connects the signal conductor okay we are going to union all these things now let me union these things uh, i got the rectangle one and also I have the rectangle two and i'm gonna union this particular thing perform the union operation okay i do have the union operation okay let me excite this particular uh excite the uh, edge edge port basically edge port is nothing but it will be having a positive and negative faces we are going to choose this phase as positive phase and this phase as the negative phase because that's the ground right i can go to the source or load tab and use the edge port over here to excite this particular thing let me choose the phase 5 uh, let me click on the positive phase first and click on phase 5 and let me select the negative phase click on the negative surface okay you can see over here uh, it's swapped basically we can move to positive phase and move to negative phase okay green is positive red is negative okay that's how we can have the the uh, notation and create this particular part okay we do have the edge port that is available i already created a small thing over here let me go to the structure and understand the structure okay here we already created the created the ports okay you can see over here uh, on both ends of this particular grounded coplanar wave okay its structure is created the edge ports and also this particular structure is created on a planar multi-layer substrate you can see over here in this particular uh, structure we were using a substrate of uh, director substrate of one dielectric constant uh, which is height of 0.8 meters uh, 0.8 millimeters height of that particular substrate were used uh, was used then i can go and look into the planar multi-layer substrate okay you can see over here planar multi-layer substrate is there we do have the substrate and height is there substrate is there okay you can see a layer one uh, is the substrate and of course we do have the pec in the ground plane and top layer okay all the things are there appropriately then click okay and uh, you can see over here we do have the planar multi-layer substrate and uh, which is the infinite multi-layer substrate we created it we we calculated the dimensions from the transmission line calculator uh, and created the structure then we have seen this particular small rectangle over here and a big rectangle vertical rectangle that connects the grounded conductors and we used the edge port to excite this particular thing and also we we designed the structure that should work from frequency range from 500 megahertz to 10 gigahertz and also i could request the parameters from as parameters of this particular circuit using both the ports you see over here as parameters port 1 and port 2 i could able to request this particular thing then once we have set up this particular grounded planar wave guide, uh, wave guide on the planar multiplayer using the planar multilayer substrate, we are ready to run this particular simulation. Just click the FICO solver button so that it can run the simulation. Then I can go to the post FICO and look into the results. Okay, you see over here I went to the post FICO and I got the S11. Uh, uh, S11 of this particular uh, coplanar wave. Right? You see, it is working very smoothly from 500 megahertz to 10 gigahertz. 
yeah the edge ports were used accordingly and also we can go to the fico launcher and look into the user guide and user guide should provide all the necessary information regarding the edge ports uh, you can see over here go to the ports and excitations if you go to the contents we can see the ports and excitations uh, i can go to ports and excitations in cad fico session you see over here ports are there in this particular page number 316 I can find the ports and excitations there it is available edge port you can we can look into the edge port how can we excite the edge port okay I can just go there to the edge port and look into the edge port you can you see over here how they are going to use the edge port and stuff like that they are going to mention about the details of excitation how can we use this particular edge port and of course the edge port can be used uh, with the voltage source in case if we are not using the s parameters and there is one more example is also available uh, grounded coplanar wave right uh, the same thing whatever we discussed uh, here in this particular example that example is available how to feed a grounded coplanar wave right that is available in 1358 page number yeah just you can go and get the details of this particular thing okay with this particular uh, thing you can let me go back to the slide deck and you can look into this particular uh, yeah the reflection coefficient of the grounded coplanar wave guide circuit uh, that we designed on the uh, on the using the planar multilayer substrate and thank you hope you yeah 